What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Finance Bro Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Kyle. Let's go, guys. It's Zach. I'm Zach. <laughs> so, He's our special guest today. Yeah, we're really bad at intros, but anyways, we're just going to be talking about some financial topics today. We're going to be talking about our guest, and uh, you know, he has some really interesting things in his personal life that he does. So we're going to be talking to him about that, and yeah, let's get into it. Timestamps are in the description. You can see what we're talking about. I'm going to be going all out for this, so because I'm going to be editing. Let's go. Because Zach's, uh, Zach's a G. We're all right, so. Him. It's been a little bit. This is our third episode of the podcast, and let's get an update. Um, the last time we were here, <laughs> I was very against stock options, and and, then, and we were very much about agency. Work. And we're uh, we, wait, no, that oh, was what we talked about last time. I forgot that we did that podcast. Yeah, and since then, so much has changed. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like the agency idea. Um, you've seen the TikTok. It might have. It, you know, we got eight thousand views. Kind of viral. No big deal. You know. <laughs> no big, we got a lot of hate. We got a lot of hate on it, and uh, you know, whatever. You know, they had some good points. They said, "Who would ever listen to these twenty-year-olds um, and pay them thousands <laughs> oh to God, do?" You can legally buy alcohol now. Oh yeah, he, I can, yeah. Kyle dude, also did turn twenty-one, mm. so time is ticking on this business thing. We got to get it going, <laughs> um, especially big boys now. But yeah, we decided against uh, agency work. Just wasn't for us we and got a so, course we did it and we were, i i was like i don't really like it and then also i thought they're you know what i really do like though what finance bro stuff i, like, I do I yeah i like making tiktoks and i like making youtube videos and the thing really the thing fun. about this is uh, I, I really enjoy you know the six like the feeling you get after you post a youtube video and after you post a tiktok and the numbers like you see because like when we're doing all this work for the agency and stuff i was like oh like uh there's no numbers there's there's nothing yet i'm gonna have to work my ass off to just get one sale and you know eventually it could work um but also when you don't like something i don't really suggest that you continue to do it especially when you have to build something like massively like mm -hmm. the agency i just like the applicability of it like this is actually stuff that people need to use and yeah that was, use that's that the whole mission to, statement for personal this. gain yeah yeah finance bro is like trying is basically trying to teach people like good sound techniques uh personal for, finance concepts for and stuff. finance and uh you know we don't want to tell you what to do like while investing we're going to tell you what we're doing and you can look to the like look to that as inspiration kind yeah. of like how people can look at warren buffett's uh like like what he's buying and stuff um on certain websites and basically we're not warren buffett but we have some good sound techniques that we're teaching you on this uh like youtube channel that i think anyone could use like zach he's not that into stocks so like, no not really so uh but <laughs> if he just set up a roth ira and uh put some money into mutual funds it would grow over time and he would really enjoy it in about 10 years i cracked up Oh, I thought you like dislocated your shoulder. Dude, we don't have paramedics. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wait. Did we? we have, did you sign a form? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Did you sign a waiver for this, man? I live like five minutes away. I'll just go home. <laughs> but enough about us, because I don't want to alienate our yeah. guest here. You know, totally just talking oh, like random anybody. stuff. Um, you just got back from Utah. I did. Yeah. I'm assuming you just finished up your semester there. Just yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. I still have a couple flights left, but other than that, I'm pretty much done. Wait, when do you have flights? Uh, once I get back. Hey, what do you um, mean by flights? What, so, give us some background. So I'm currently a, so I'm a private pilot recognized by the FAA. I don't mean to flex or anything. But, uh, oh, dude. So I'm currently in an aviation school. I'm a fixed wing pilot at Southern Utah. Very cool. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 19. So he's 19 and he's already has his private pilot license, you know. Uh, my friend or my cousin in Canada, like, got his private pilot, private pilot. Private you, pilot. You, you yeah, that, you got that, it. that. Um, when you he was like know. 17, and I was like, dude, you can't fly a plane when oh, you're dude, 17. You can get it when you're 16. And yeah, so the fact that, you know, he's 19 and stuff, like, it's, it's just you weird that you can drive fly a, car a plane. And drive a plane, like, right after. Um, yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, so how have you liked your years in college? Because, you know, I've been outspoken on this podcast saying I don't really like like college that much. So how do you feel about college? Well, well, in the, in and, a, and your program that you're in. Yeah, so the, the year and a half long program is, uh, or that I've been in the program, it's been great. Uh, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything, but the whole, I mean, <laughs> the idea of college is kind of flawed in my eyes just because it's like, 
I just took a class for dinosaurs in the history of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the T-Rex spent, presentation you I gave. spent money on that class. <laughs> but, it, like, what is that? When am I ever going to use that? See, for, that's like GEs. Like, I think yeah. GEs are a total waste of time. They really are. Total waste. But, I mean, the program itself is great. The instructors are awesome. They're all really knowledgeable. Um, yeah, well, and I, it's awesome. What about to play devil's advocate? Um, oh, we got the G- devil's advocate guy here. Yo, we go. I, I love the TikToks where they're like, uh, the devil's advocate Dude, guy. shout out Jack like, Martin. Just, yeah, yeah. The yeah, boy, I love bro. Him. Love um, that guy. No, but so it, to play devil's advocate, you know, GEs make you a more culturally, oh culturally sound Shut person. Yeah. And hey, I... Mr. College Dean, yeah? Here, I, here's some more money. I, I does, don't know. Does it smell good? Uh, you I know, mean, I hate it. <laughs> I mean, maybe to an extent, like, yeah, it's important to take, like, a math class and have basic knowledge of being a normal Yeah, but we've been student. doing that literally since we existed, yeah. like, but in like, kindergarten till what is it, uh, what's the last grade you do? If you don't know Six, how to add... Uh, senior in, year of high school. Senior year of high school, yeah. If you don't know how to add and, like, do that. basic math, like... Like things that you yeah. need in real life by senior year of high school, then yeah. see that's the thing. High school should be like the okay. Let me enculture my in yeah. culture myself with all these you know classes that are you know different subjects and stuff. But when you get into college, you should be able to not have to take G's if you don't want to. Well, yeah, yeah but there's like stupid. certain classes and stuff like maybe a the, the uh, only, sociology class or yeah, like that's true. Something to I took a learn. philosophy class and I yeah, thought it was super I thought it was really interesting. Yeah. I think those should be like like um, optional to take I agree they should yeah. be optional but the only thing, but I, that's the I thing, would right? request it but not force it yeah like that's the thing is that because some schools don't teach the same like uh, subjects or they don't teach the same amount of quality subjects yeah. that other schools do because they have more funding and they have better teachers better programs yeah. stuff like that so if some of these kids aren't coming in at like a fair advantage so I get it you know yeah. and like you said like optional would be way better yeah. but uh, I'd rather choose <laughs> and, <laughs> you know I'd rather be like I know what I want to do I want to do business so let me take my business classes how do you yeah. feel about the student loan forgiveness that's about or that could come I like it what is the I didn't know you like it because you like free money but <laughs> who doesn't is, what is the student loan forgiveness they, they're talking about forgiving people student loans especially because oh that would be awesome <laughs> that would be so great dude <laughs> right? right dude aviation school is so expensive I get it eco- economically um it's a little. It's gonna mm. cripple our generation. Oh, it's gonna of the obliterate future. our ger- generation in the future. But like yeah, for me right now, I'm good with that. Yeah, my college debt was just like ah, you know, dude, we'll just slide that right under the yeah. Table. They, they just it, throw it out like it never happened. Then yeah, fine that's by great. me. I'm not even for, for it. I just feel bad. My parents. Well, I mean, I guess in the later years, it, throughout my career, I'll be making a lot. So it's not really anything. Yeah, yeah crazy so to you're about. gonna screw yourself later. Now for other people where yeah. it's like they are in a lot of debt and like they might not get a job that's yeah. really gonna like provide for them, you know, to pay that off or or they make dumb wow. financial decisions. I, speak louder, bro. Uh, I think that <laughs> look at look, well, I mean, look at this. I mean uh, this is your oh, whole hang on, guys. I, will say, I, I, I my think I'll be him. okay as long as I have finance bros, I think I'll be okay in the future <laughs> if this, this is uh, why if this happens. This is exactly why you guys should subscribe to the channel and follow all our socials because we teach you guys actual proven Shame, concepts that are great plug. and they work. Shame we teach plug. you what they don't teach you. Oh, no. If you took oh, an econ fine. class, you oh, know God. that they barely teach you anything. You take any of those classes, they don't teach you anything. They teach you the bare minimum and even then you don't care because you're not looking for the knowledge. See here, we provide the knowledge <laughs> and whether or not you want to come and get it, it's up to you, right? If you're thinking, I want to learn about stocks one day, we got, we got, we got money, baby. We got money. <laughs> Come right in, dude. dude Come take know. a look. I don't know what you're trying to talk to me about, dude. My one semester in Mr. Wall's class really set me. You That's know, true. that I'm perfect. I was actually time. pleasantly surprised when I took e I was like, wow, I'm actually oh, yeah. learning quite a bit. I, I like how he looked us all dead in the face and was like, I'm going to tell you how to be a millionaire and no one's going to do it. Yeah. Don't, don't have kids. Roth IRA, baby. Roth IRA. And, and don't have kids. Yeah. Because kids are Here, Here's the thing, you know, here's the pros, here's the cons. Of uh, the economical impact of what's it called uh, the student loan forgiveness. So the pros, people like us uh, get a fresh start. We will uh, it'll stimulate the economy because we will make uh, we'll have jobs. We won't have to pay debt. And here's a here's a con. The, uh, basically, all of the revenue that uh, the student debt actually gives the government will have to be made up somewhere else. So that comes in the form of taxes, that comes in the form of adding to the debt, national debt, which people don't even like care about. It's like 17 trillion. Yeah, bro. It's like Just print more money. Who do we um, owe though? Like, yeah, China? What do we owe? Yeah, we owe, we owe other countries, right? <laughs> Basically, 
eventually it's all gonna come to a crash and our money in the stock market is gonna be worth nothing. Our, basically, if we start doing things like student loan forgiveness, it's a snowball. It's kind of like how people don't like to wear about- masks right now. It's like, oh, you, oh, just wear this mask. Oh, um, actually, I don't want to go down that train of thought. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of do. Though. How, well, no, how about okay. how about this? How about how about we just do free college? Uh, you, you don't like that one, do you? No, because no. then it's like okay, you know how we because then that's that? kind of stepping into the yeah. communism boundary. Because yeah. how the, how are the teachers going to get paid? What's going to be the motivation to be a teacher? Well, and be the an teachers educator? get paid by well, the because government, taxes, and yeah. then the government pays for oh, college, and so. then you know they do it. You know they do it. So. Yeah, no one can hear you. <laughs> they cut the military budget. I mean, is, why would you is cut that like the military? Nine hundred billion or some crazy? Like, no, this I is want a crazy a idea, military. but we don't have. Oh no, I bases definitely. in every single country. Yes, we, we do. Here. Dude, the, oh, yeah, we, we don't. Do. No, we don't. Need Dude, what to. happens we if Uganda it. just decides that it's their time? It's to Uganda. Goes after. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what bro, do? Dude, the government should have two basic, like, what's it called? Two basic things that they should do: it's protect us, it's to protect us, and it's to basically. Oh, what was the other one? It's basically to protect us and uh, make sure we're all educated, and that that's it. Even then, dude, some people really don't need to be educated. Like you could just you and no, I don't even mean that for college. There. I mean just high school, like high school, and then after after high school, college shouldn't even be a thing. It should be specialized things, and you should like have to pay school. for it. Yeah, it's trade school, but like for everything, mm. like uh, and you should have to pay for it, but not like college where you're paying a hundred grand. There's definitely definitely something in the culture where. There's this like weird competitive culture now where you know right out of high school a lot of parents really want to push their kids to go to these oh, yeah, because then they get oh well, my kids went yeah to it's, my kids it's this went to weird school, like my kids, living uh, vicariously yeah. through your kid and then trying to like brag about their accomplishments they're not even yours yeah. and you mom know? and dad if you see this I'm not saying that you're <laughs> I really want to be a pilot so don't. I, I, but anybody's. yeah, like, like I, there needs to be more like encouragement of like you should figure yeah. out what you'd like to do. Ideally, something that's not going to leave you in massive amounts of debt that yeah. will you know you have to carry with you for a very long time because you don't have a job that can pay it off. Yeah. Find something you like to do that ideally pays decent, you know, and then try to figure out how to do that without taking on student yeah. loans well, and going to college. Like there's ways, yeah. there, you know, you you can make money in life without going to college. Well, it's, for me, there's you can go to a flight school without going to a university, but. Right. Uh, when I get my bachelor's degree, I'll get a thing called reduced ATP, so I'll need less uh, flight hours to get into the commercial airlines, like less requirements oh, okay. with the bachelor's degree. Yeah. So I don't need it. It's but it's just not, nice to have. Yeah, it's yeah. like 500 hours less, I think, for me than it would be just some dude that went to That's a lot. That went to some airport and was like, yeah, I want flight school now. But it's it nice. is more expensive yeah. and it's... But, but see, it's, it's stuff like that where it's like, you know, there are reasons to go to college. It's not like completely outmoded yeah. yet. It is, it is. It's not. Yet. What's the reasons to go to college? Give me three good reasons. Um, uh, I've definitely learned hours. things about business that I couldn't have learned on you know, YouTube. You think? I think so, yeah. Dude, I've learned way more about business on YouTube than I ever have. I've definitely YouTube. learned more like actionable stuff. Like real, like fit, like I can take My action. My social I feel like skills account- are so much better though. Like okay. if I didn't go to college, then I'd be like still in that high school Experience. Take a $2,000 really- $2, trip to Europe or whatever. Like, and then you'll get social skills. I, get, like, I mean, kind of, I, I guess, but they also food. hate Americans. <laughs> no, they don't. Some of them do. Not in Europe. France. Yeah, France. That's just because we bully France and Italy for always switching sides. Poor France. Wars, but whatever. Poor France. No, but... I mean, uh, imagine being shaped like a boot. <laughs> Italy who? Yeah, hey, but they make some good food, though. Yeah, they do. They oh, some pasta. Food. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, but why pay 100 grand to make I, I think some skills? of the experiences are good if you're going to, like, a really top school. Well, and, and you, like, make, you make, like, friends for life, though. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. You meet a lot of interesting people. And you know? networking, I guess. Networking yeah. is huge, especially in aviation, because it's, like, my... I was talking to my instructor about it, and his uh, his instructor, when he was where I am, texted him offering him a job, um, and he said, hey, I'm still here working, getting more hours, but my brother could use a job right now. So his brother got the job. Were there more people, were there people way more qualified than him? Yes. But it's that inter, uh, intercompany right. Relationship, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like uh, there's definitely good things about college, but I feel like they can be outweighed by the opportunity cost. You know, like the opportunity cost to go to college isn't good. I guess so, but... Yeah. I mean, I mean, if yeah. I wasn't in college, I'd definitely want to be doing this and building this and building something, you know, yeah. and doing my own business. Yeah, I'd be work. Uh, I yeah. would be working and uh, trying to do something like this if yeah. I wasn't in college. Side hustle. 
And also, there are lots of certifications you can take on like Google now, especially in like the tech industry, where you can get. Yeah, really you can good. you can be like an IT IT guy with a Google certification that takes like I think like eight weeks, maybe yeah, like twelve yeah. weeks to complete. There's things like that to do. And then you're making like thirty to fifty a driving thousand. class online to yeah. drive. Oh yeah, there's tons of stuff. So I get what you're saying with that, where it's like, yeah, there's other ways to go about it. Totally, but yeah. I, the thing is, college is so it's such like a ingrained structure. I think in American culture that it's going to be oh, really yeah. tough to like, kind of like. Well, it's like it's almost like the same as a uh, gas cars. It's like yeah. something new, something new idea. That's electric cars or not going to college is coming out, but it's still V eights are just undefeated. Like they yeah, just sound sick. great. There's exactly. no way they're ever just going to be gone. Yeah, no I'm matter gonna, how many laws get made, people are still going to be like, I really want to drive a gas car. Yeah, and like LSX thing. is just. It's awesome. Different. Like, it's yeah, it's different. different. I'm still going to put money away for my kid's college and stuff. Oh, yeah. But um, I'm really hoping that they decide to like, or like, they yeah. decide to take another route and I'll just give them that money that I've set aside to That's do good. whatever no, no, they want to do. I'm taking that money, dude. If they're not going to college. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm good kidding. luck. Bro, for well, them yeah, like, start a business, like, yeah. that'd be really good. Like, to have like, like get those experiences in other ways, though. Yeah, get business. those experiences in other ways. Yeah, and, and yeah, you, you can take a, a certain amount of money and go wherever you want to go in the world or whatever yeah. and then use the other amount of money to um, go and start a business or whatever you want to do. Like, like I might overwatch it though and make sure they're being financially Oh yeah, th- that's oh, yeah, maybe under a not just glass go and drop no, you, you can have, on drugs. You can have things in place where like they can only get a certain amount like yeah, like, like a slow drip of money. <laughs> oh yeah, like With, monthly recurring. Yeah. Unless you like ask or you say I want to start this business I need this much more and then I, and then I can authorize it. There's like ways yeah. to do that. And then I want equity. Like that would be good. No. Yeah, because then take, they I would take 5% equity in my kids business. Become a drug dealer. I would totally take 5% equity in my Why would you Take equity in your kids. I, Why, dude, I, they you? came out of me. I am them. I mean, I'll, I'm probably already going to be rich as fuck, anyways. But you know, I just. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I am going to be. That's crippling the company. Did I tell you my friend's dad uh, has flown for FedEx for 20 years, makes 350 grand a year, and flies half the year. Oh my god, that's cool. That's insane. That's that's what I want to do. I want to fly FedEx. How long is he? I don't fly he, people. He I'm going to start it. 20 over. years. 20 years. Not, why does why good. why is it when wait? So I have a question. Okay. Oh oh, we're back. By the way, technical difficulties. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, so when like a helicopter blade, right, when it's spinning, why is it, I don't know if you know this, if they teach you this or something, but why is it that the blade looks like one continuous circle when it's going so fast? Is there like a, a physics can't reason? We process it that fast. Okay, well, all right, that was exactly what it's like, for. Yeah, <laughs> okay. It's like, it's like the, it's kind of like the... I mean, just your side. eyes, right? Your eyes only can process yeah. motion so, you know, quickly. Yeah, and it's just, it's a continual okay. thing and it's... Force and aerodynamics and astrophysics, probably astrophysics. something in there, dude. I don't know. I fly planes. That's like why people want keep on wanting like higher hertz, um, like for their computer screens. Oh, but so then people are like different things. At the yeah, but people are like, uh, as soon as you hit above a certain amount of hertz, like it's, it's minimal yeah. at best. Yeah, like, like one twenty. One twenty is almost indistinguishable. Indistinguishable and I from think sixty. They're coming out with like two hundred eighty eight. Good. Yeah. Lot. So dude, dude, one. No it's like one. Uh, 44 is it or um that is like basically as soon as you go past that you no longer see a difference but like your mind like everything has diminishing returns i feel like like even like 4k like 4k i remember like when i went from 1080 to 4k total difference you can totally tell it's beautiful and then when you go to 8k there's no difference there's nothing i mean maybe it looks sharper i guess but it's more just how how much you can crop in well but yeah and you gotta hope that technology advances in that way because like i think now they're they can barely hold 4K with Xbox games and stuff like that. Yeah, like they can't Cyberpunk, bump up Cyberpunk can't even run properly on the Xbox One. Yeah. Wait, does PlayStation 5 have 4K? I would assume. I think I Xbox Series five, X does. Maybe not 5K. Yeah, it might wow. be 4K. Well, you need a 4K monitor to, or TV to run it anyway. So, yeah. like, a lot, of people, a lot of people are like, oh, I'm getting 4K, but... Um, like you're not gonna see it. You're you're not gonna see it unless you have the 4K you're see TV a, a as well. D- a down sampled version of of 4K, which is still sharp and it's still really pretty, but it's still 1080p. Yeah, it'll well, look and, better, but you're not actually seeing 4K. Yeah. Well, and when you go like back in the day, like I was running uh, Black Ops One on a <laughs> 4K monitor, and it was still kind of grainy. Yeah, yeah, because it's still it's like, not a game. That's how the game was. So there's no point. Yeah, like if but, you're gonna play those games, you might as well go back to like a 720p monitor or something. Yeah, make it run how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. For real, yeah, for real. interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was dropping zombies on Kino. Have, I love Kino. Um, Good times. What, would you ever think about uh, investing? Yeah, you I mean, said you're not investing in stocks, right? Yeah. 
uh, once I'm, uh, once you yeah, have some more like disposable income. To yeah, kind of mess once I with. get more income, more, yeah, I work more. I have a better a job that pays more. I'm on salary, maybe even. What if you just started putting like just a little bit? Do you like, have? Wait, that's actually a good question. He has before a job. that. No, I be, but do you have like money? Just like you could do that with now, no. or is everything just no, at right use? Now. Okay, because so, I have to pay my own rent. Right, right. right. That makes sense. Then, yeah, you got to be liquid. So, are you gonna come out of college debt free? Are you gonna have a little bit of debt? I'll probably have a little bit, but um, from rent? No, from college, dude. It's like twenty grand a year. Oh, me. I thought your uh, parents were paying for it. Well, yeah, but I'm not just gonna drop that on them. Oh, you're still you're. I'm gonna help them out for sure. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Well, plus I'm gonna make like six figures right out of college, so I'm not just gonna drop. Eight so we need to make a plan for you once you actually start making this. We'll be your we'll be your financial advisor to make oh, sure yeah. that you're not. Uh, yeah, I'll fly you guys places if you help me with my. We'll money. run we'll run all your investments. We got you. We'll get you a rental. We'll get you something. Nice. You just have to start putting away at least ten percent of your income to uh, mm. what's it called? He'll invest. If investing. he's making six figures, he'll be able to put away. No, we're gonna get him a Roth. We're gonna get him into five different mutual funds that cover all parts of the market. This is the five steps of what's his name? Dave, <laughs> Dave Ramsey. Yeah, this guy. Well, no, I was just going into baby step number three or four. The baby investing. steps. Um, but I wasn't actually talking about the baby step. If you want mm. to think about it, you get a thousand dollar emergency fund. You make sure all your debts paid. Yeah. Um, um, and well, then you save. No, then you five to six months of expenses. Yeah, five to six months of uh, expenses into a savings account. And, and then after that, you just start investing. Going towards retirement, yeah. Um, but yeah, you put 10% to investing, 10% to giving. That's what Mr. Hay says, too. Yeah. Yeah, Do you think Mr. Hay 80, 10, 10. watches Dave Ramsey? I feel like, I Dave definitely Ramsey. did, I feel like. I feel like Mr. Hay's Shout out Mr. Hay. Mr. Hay teaches because he wants to. Yeah, Miss, Mr. I Hay think. is our uh, Bible is literature teacher. Yeah. Uh, the uh, smartest man. Very cool guy. From like three or four years ago at this point. Dude, you think about that. It's been like... It's been a long three time. Three years since we were in, uh, senior in high school. Dude, even... Yeah, like I was thinking about... Even two years. Like, that's 10% of my life. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> Dude, so. Like... But yeah, so as soon as you start getting money, you got to put at least 10% to uh, invest yeah. in. At least, well, once if you're making 100K, you got to max out that Roth. It's very satisfying, yeah. too, when you start doing yeah. well, like those numbers a month or something. No, it's six. You can only do 6,000. You can um, only do six grand a year yeah. for your Roth. And then it maxes out. And then six grand can, a year? Six grand yeah, a year for to your put Roth. Into, yeah, and then you can invest it in whatever you want. And then growth wise, it can grow as much as it is. Yeah. You know? And you can also get a 401k from your employer. You can do 19000 in yeah, that one. like FedEx. If you mm. work with FedEx, they'll probably do like a 401k match where they'll do, you know, 401k. And then however much money. Like if I do ten grand, they'll do ten grand. Yeah, they'll usually like, do it up to a certain like amount. Yeah, they'll have like a, like a limit. They'll do like, you know, $400 every paycheck or something like that, you know. Oh, okay. And then, or probably more than that uh, yeah. in a big boy job. But like, that's like a. Now I have a question for you guys, and I don't know if you know the answer. I saw something on TikTok the other day where you shouldn't put a mortgage or where you shouldn't buy a house. Like, uh, you like in cash, you mean? Like you should just oh, just rent. never. Or you should oh. never buy a house. Well, no, yeah. then you never get equity, and you don't. That's. Have any, I think uh, it's debatable. I think it's I, debatable. No, I th- I'm going because to rent of, until I'm like uh, until I have enough money to like put on a house. But like, I don't think you should do that forever because you're never getting equity. And real estate is like is king because like yeah. you have land; it's your land. Like yeah. well, uh, all def- you owe is property taxes. Definitely going to yeah. invest yeah. in land. And but but rent if you just rent, you're never getting equity in a house. Well, what scares me about that is that like I'll never have like a home that I can like sit in and like even you know one day have everything paid off right, and like then all I have to worry about stuff. is the taxes on you know the property and stuff. I, I hate the idea that event like if I live the rest of my life like that, like I would just be like always paying rent. Mm. I don't know. I just not my vibe. But some people, I mean, if it works for you, because what I was thinking about doing is buying a portion of land, like a decent size, like, like an acre or two, and mm. building a house outright. Yeah, do and paying for it outright. It's probably you literally would increase the value. And of I would have a by huge like house. Probably. Yeah, that's that's smart. Yeah, and then it'd be brand new. It's my house. It's how I want it oh, to be. Oh yeah, no, that's definitely the move for sure. I yeah, I want to eventually get into uh, like learning how to do everything with a house, so I never have to like pay someone to. Yeah, like do, oh do my stuff. pipe is broken. Let me go in and fix that. I've or... gotten dude that that was like my biggest thing. I, I whenever my dad would like do stuff around the house, I'd always like pay attention. Even mm-hmm. if, even if I wasn't doing it with him, I just watch him like do it, and I learned so much from doing. Yeah, that. I never did that, but you gotta do it, dude. It's worth it. It's <laughs> self. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Low key. Like just like fixing stuff sometimes, it's so satisfying. Like if that, I think there was something broke. What was it? The toilet was like fucked mm. up. It was like running, and I was like, "What's wrong?" And I like lifted up the thing. Oh, I've like, done that. I took the little the flapper thing. I don't know, oh, was, yeah. but I fixed it. I was like, "Dude, oh my god!" I, I used to just and it's so stupid and benign, but oh, I just sp- I fucking spiked the audio when I kicked the table. There. Yeah, you go from hey, hey guys, and then, and to, then you just. I used to just 
fuck with the little plunger thing on top when I was a kid. <laughs> I, Sometimes yeah, it's I easy, just, you know? I never knew. And then my, you know how, it. like, your toilet just, like, won't stop, uh, like, it's Running. just there's a, a noise coming it's from like, it. Yeah. And so that was happening in my college. I'm like, dang, I used yeah, to tell I my dad to, to do that. this. And I was like... Did you YouTube it? And all you have to do is, um, like, basically the the thing wasn't going down. The so flapper, like, right? Yeah, the flapper. So you so just, just had to, like, constant drain run. it or something to a point where it, like, the flusher, when you flush it, can go down. Right. Like, my dad, the, I faced on my dad, and then I was able to do it. And then I was like, oh, now I know how to do this. It's so, so sick. Yeah. It's I've fun. talked a lot to my my uncle my dad and my brother about like even a couple of weeks ago i was changing out windshield lever blades and i've never had to do that so i called them and facetimed them and now i learned how to do that and a couple other things like a fuse box on my car a fuse box I yeah to like that. I, that one of the cool. fuses went out and i had to go through and do it and i was taking i was doing my own uh put a light bar on my truck mm-hmm. you guys saw it last yeah night. yeah last night did you um and i had to kind of figure that out on my own so. I didn't even notice like that you had a light bar until you just, like shot yeah you're like strobing us. Yeah. I had to replace my battery because it was dead Ooh. for the first time. That was really fun because yeah. I had to get a multi meter, like yeah. a little electrical tester, and I like touched the two like contacts and I was like woo. Like, it makes you feel good too. Like you feel you're such done, like such a guy. Like, you're like yeah. fuck yeah. You just like, like sit down and you're like <laughs> I, just, I just made that. Like, like, that's right. my thing now. Yeah. And what's it called? So before we go, I just want to talk about uh, what's it called? Where our investments are at. It's been a while. Where's your invest? Like, where are you at with investing? Uh, I was at five hundred with options. Uh, I was doing a lot of options trading. I was at five hundred on that, and then uh, I had a week where just huge pullback in the market and all the stuff that I had. Go- I-, I was really leveraged into. I was like, I think I had three positions going and just market tank, like every single one of them. And then I kind of just wrote them out a little bit, waited for the spikes. They, they, I still lost money. I ended up losing. What's 500 minus 200? Uh, 300. 300. Yeah, I ended up losing $300. Um, so I'm back to 1,200. Where, you, where are you at with investing now? Like, What's your strategy currently? Right now, I'm figuring it out, actually. I, I don't know if I want to start doing shares again and just do like swing trades with shares because it's way less risky. Uh-huh. Um, or if I want to try to hop into options again and maybe try different strategies with stop losses and stuff because that was a big problem of mine. Uh, That's what we were talking about last I, time. I, did, I wouldn't set a stop loss and it would just, it would tank me. I'd get like, I'd be down $40 and I'm like, it could go back up and then it never did. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So where I'm at, oh, are you, do you have some of this? Yeah, but I was just, what is a stock option, what you were talking about, how you just kind of like buy a little bit and then it works. An option is, and... yeah, that's the whole thing. So an, uh, a, like a call option is uh, you're, you're buying the right, uh, you're paying a premium to someone to buy the right to um, buy 100 shares at the price that it's currently at when you get the option, mm. um, and, or the strike price, basically. Say you have a $50 strike price, and you think that it's gonna go to 55. Well, you buy 100 shares of that, um, but it's all condensed into a, a premium. A contract. Uh, yeah, mm. a contract, basically, and you pay a premium to, to buy that. If it uh, ends up being below your strike price, like the, the price of the stock, if it's below your strike price, say it's 49, uh, that contract expires worthless. You make zero dollars. But say you make uh, it's fifty, uh, or you buy it at fifty strike price and it's at fifty five. You get those five dollars, but it's instead of getting five dollars, um, getting five dollars, it's multiplied by a hundred. So you, you make five hundred dollars oh, in yeah. profit. Okay. It's way more leverage, but that's also why it's super risky because if you can make five times the amount of money, but you also can lose five times the amount of money if it goes the other way. No, you can't lose five times. You, yes, you, you lose, could. No, you lose one times the amount of money. You could make five times. Wait, why so why one times the amount of money? So because say, say you have risk, a, risk to reward say, ratio? Say right? a call, yeah. Say a call is uh, $100. Mm-hmm. Like you bought it $100. It could go to $500. It can only, you can only lose $100. So, so you spend 50 bucks, right? Yeah. And then you get those 100 well, uh, you get the right to buy the hundred if, when the uh, the option expires, that it's above the okay. uh, the, okay. the strike price. Yeah, I got you now. So, but you can only, say you buy a hundred dollars, you can only lose a hundred dollars. Yeah. But you could make an, an infinite amount of money depending on how much. Yeah. This okay, s- I got the you stock now. goes up. Yeah. So that's why people. It's and those are different than buying like a share. Of a okay. It's, yeah. It's like okay. two different ways of investing. Well, investing. I would. I wouldn't call stock options investing, but I would definitely call it like. Trading. Uh, it's definitely investing. You think so? I yeah. Mean, I guess you own long term stuff, but but yeah. So that's that's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm about Zach. Yeah. So me basically. Um, He's been bouncing. Currently, around. I have 
a thousand dollars in fidelity um in my roth uh and then i have two hundred dollars because if you guys want to watch my whole i basically i saw him make five hundred dollars i was like dang options are cool let me try it <laughs> one more time because i lost probably 200 300 dollars before in options and i was like screw this um but i was like let me give it one more try Hey guys, so sorry about that. The podcast had to end uh, pretty abruptly just because my camera was um, overheating and then some other people had places to go. Um, so that's going to be it for today. I don't know what part it was cut off at, but basically my investing, uh, you can look at my whole journey with options um, in our video from before. And then, yeah, you guys can follow Zach, who is in the video, at Zach underscore Colton. 43 um, on Instagram and then Zach Colton 43 on TikTok and then follow us on TikTok Instagram um, all the links are down below and um, yeah subscribe to the channel if you made it this far um, if you made it this far you probably like the video so just subscribe and like it really helps us out and we'll see you in the next video peace